everybody welcome back to my studio it's a Friday and that's when I normally do some sort of video to share with you guys so obviously I'm not in my normal studio I am visiting with my parents so I'm going to just lower this down here and do a quick demonstration so the last couple weeks I've been working with S strokes and C strokes so let's just go back over them again so I'm going to use a uh, yellow oxide today. Let me make sure you can see. Here we go. So let's start with that C stroke again. Remember pushing down on the brush, pulling it up, and letting it rise like that airplane that I've been talking about. Okay, push that brush down, pull it around, and bring it back up. Now for those who haven't been with me before, I like to paint with round brushes as opposed to flats or filberts, though I still use them. Uh, I just happen to like rounds. And I'm working with a paint by uh, Chroma, and it's Joe Sonia uh, paints. They're the uh, Joe's, Chroma's Joe Sonia Artist Colors. Love them. They're wonderful to work with. They are in acrylic, so this is going to dry very quickly. So, okay, we were doing... S strokes or C strokes and then I was also demonstrating S strokes. These two strokes are the main backbone of rose modeling. Rose modeling being a decorative art form that comes from Norway. It originated in the 1600s but it's very familiar to all different backgrounds because these C strokes and S strokes and the flower formations that make they're really familiar to uh, maybe the Russian, German, Dutch, uh, Islamic countries, you name it. All right, so now we're going to build off this a little bit. And I'm going to play a little bit today in that I'm going to just do a little detailing. So I have a C stroke. And then I'll have put another inside of it, kind of like a uh, little twin there. Now I'm working on a paper palette or a paper pad. So it's very dry and the paint's going to pull uh, and be a little stuttered, but that's okay. It's kind of nice to have a dry brush technique. Let me put an S stroke down there, put another one in here. So I'm in the midst of a lot of uh, uh, Christmas orders and commissions and taking care of my Etsy shop and all of that. And then obviously taking care of family stuff. Somehow we'll get all the decorating done. Yesterday was Thanksgiving, and I hope everybody had a wonderful Gobble Gobble Turkey Day if you are in the States. And if you aren't in the States, then uh, I hope you enjoy watching this and you're celebrating whatever holiday you're celebrating and just enjoying every day. All right. I'm not making anything really crazy here. I'm just kind of coming up with a little design that I can detail. Some people call it outlining. Some people call it embellishments. Anything that makes a piece come more to life just adds to it. Now, if you notice, I keep turning the uh, paper towards me, and I'm stuttering today. I don't know why. I might be a little tired. But I keep pulling, turning the paper towards me so I can pull the brush strokes towards me. It just makes it so much easier. Now it's fun to paint on paper also because I kind of like the dry effect. All right, so I have a nice little flower formation here. I can add a nice little bud up here. And notice S stroke, or C stroke, S stroke, S stroke, C stroke. So those same strokes that made this makes these nice little flowers here. Let me show that again. Let me turn it again a little bit. Let me move you guys with me. Don't mind my messy uh, palette there. I have so many different projects going that I'm just keeping all my colors going. Okay, so here's a C. Here's an S. Here's another little S inside of it. And there's a little C on the side there. Now we can add a little bit of embellishment here, 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 here. All right, so now I'm going to take my brush. I have a piece of paper towel here that's wet. I'm putting my brush inside my wet paper towel so I don't have to worry about cleaning it right away and it will keep it nice and damp. And now I have another brush here. It's a Joe Sonia Short Touch script liner. 
it's a zero and I am going into a nice wet black I'm going to use that as my embellishment color I'll take a little bit off of it I want to bring it to a point and now let's add some detail to this so we have our sepal there and I may switch to a finer brush we'll see how I like it and the nice thing about having and you'll find as an artist you'll have lots of brushes like musicians maybe a guitarist might have more than one guitar or a bass player or you know whatever you do in life you know what works for you and different brushes for different applications and you try a class and you might have a different brush from there I keep knocking into you let's give myself some room here so now here what I'm doing is I'm just going around and giving some nice embellishment to this and I'm going with thin and thick to make it interesting you don't want everything to be the same size you want it to have a little variety to it because it just adds interest to the eyes if everything was the same it would look very stripy let's see let's add some nice little cross hatching in here it's always a nice way to add it let's come this way sorry I'm giving you guys a rocky ride out there today I don't quite have as much room as I normally do but that's all right let's turn it again as you can see I just keep turning it towards me I'm just working my way around now I might not go around every little bit because sometimes it's nice to keep things a little open maybe I'll come inside of it give it a little detail this way a little teardrop teardrop that way let's work around this way now all right it's very relaxing for me to sit and do this uh, maybe not always relaxing when I'm a little bit on crunch time but this is just really fun and if you're out here and you are trying it and my videos are inspiring you to pick up a brush and try look at that isn't that fun please take your time to just practice on paper it doesn't have to be perfect remember it's just paint which is something I just love to say because it is it's just paint this isn't a life or death situation it's not really scary though a lot of times people are scared by it let's bring a little line out there you know as humans we uh, always want to try to be perfect but remember we're not perfect we just do the best we can each and every day that's all we can do let me put a little sepal on there look at this guy coming along here now with this brush I'm doing the same thing that I did with my big rounds that I did all these little stroke works with it's still that airplane I'm coming up I'm on my point and I just push the bristles down so for example nice thin like that I can take the same brush and hopefully I have enough paint on it this time I can take the same brush and come and take the pressure off and get nice and thin or I can push that brush down and get nice and thick and look at that same brush this is kind of fun to do also is just take the brush and doodle a lot of calligraphers will know exactly what I'm talking about with this but learn how to get the brush to feel with it isn't that neat very soothing to watch very relaxing my uh, 12 year old son will say that's very satisfying all right let's come up here let's add a little bit here and around like I said it doesn't have to go around every single thing and I might put a little tendril you know when you look out in the uh, your garden you'll see all these little buds little offshoots remember this is based on flowers they're not actual flowers but they're kind of fantasy flowers now let's just get this nice stroke that's coming up around there now see now I'm rushing a little bit so I'm really not totally following it but doesn't that look pretty let's bring this guy around like that and you know what we'll just go boop boop 
Boop. I'm very technical with my words here. All right, let's do a little tendril coming up there. Tendril coming up here. Notice all the stuff is all coming down to that sepal though. Because even if it's fantasy flowers, they have to look like they're part of that formation. All right, well, I think I'm done for now. I hope you enjoyed today's demonstration, and I look forward to seeing you all next week. Take care.